Hi guys, this is Snap, and today we're going to be talking a little bit informally about the Atlas setup we have for Metamorph, and specifically how to target farm a particular map. Here you can see we have a little bit over 30 T6 burial chambers. We just started running on this Atlas last night. The catch is if you want to do this, you have to create a new account from scratch because you've already bricked your Atlas. You see, there's no way to uncomplete maps after the removal of the cartographer's seals, so if you want to target farm a particular map, you actually have to create an account from scratch. Not a new character, an entirely new account. That means new stash tabs, new everything. Our carry was in the fortunate position to have access to another account with stash tabs, so this is the account we're using here, and this is the current atlas you are looking at. I'm going to try and keep it as brief as possible just to try to explain the basics about how to actually target farm a particular map. Essentially, you want to choose two maps on that atlas that you'd want to farm, and each of them need to be in a particular quadrant. In our case, we chose Burial Chambers, which is in Valdo's Rest, and Port, which which is in Lex Proxima. From the very inception of your account, you have to already have chosen which map you want to be target farming in order to do this correctly. Because any single map you run that is not specifically tailored to be dropping that map can completely brick the atlas with no way to fix it. So here's how it actually works. So the first thing to do is to actually acquire as many watchstones as you can. On this account, we have 24 watchstones, and then we supplement the rest of the watchstones with unique ones. You can see here we have four in this tower. The watchstones aren't completely mandatory to do this strat. However, the Awakener bonus is very lucrative and is something you should strive for if you're looking to target farm a particular map for a divination card, as it does add a substantial quantity bonus to every map. So here's our burial chamber setup we have in Valdo's Rest. Essentially, Burial Chambers is the only T6 and Tier 7 we have completed in this region when we have one Watchstone equipped. Here you can see the T6s in the region, and here you can see the T7s. Burial Chamber is the only completed map in this section. The next step is to shape up your Atlas or Watchstone your Atlas up to a higher tier. In our case, we want the maximum Awakener level, so we put four stones in every other quadrant except for the Valdo's Rest. This current Atlas setup means that Burial Chambers is the only droppable T6 map in the entire Atlas. So if we were to run a T12 map, and a T12 map were to drop, that T12 map will get down-tiered all the way down to Tier 6, and the only completed map we have is a Burial Chambers. This is the basics of how you can target farm a particular map. So essentially you can run any map with this setup that is around tier 6 to 13 and drop only Burial Chambers. However, while you're running Burial Chambers, if your Atlas is set up like this, the adjacent maps as well as the T6 maps in the quadrant will start to drop. This is why you need two sections. So what we decided to do is that while we're running Burial Chambers, we have four watchtowers here that we can run sextants on, and while we're running these Burial Chambers, we are then subsequently dropping ports over here. Port is the only T6 map that's completed in this region, therefore while we're running Burial Chambers, we're only dropping ports. And then what we do is we simply move our Watchstones again. Once our Watchstones are moved, we keep running the ports, and now the Burial Chambers will be dropping. So essentially you have to choose two maps and ping pong between them. Try and choose two favorable layouts and only complete that tier and one tier above and make it be the only map in that region. For our case, Burial and Port are tier 6s, therefore Burial and Port are the only T6s or 7s completed in that region. You can see how this can be a little bit tedious when setting up because running a single map that is incorrect can completely brick your account, not just your atlas or your character. Therefore, having to make a new account with perhaps new stash tabs if you really want to execute this Atlas strategy. After having actually set this up and doing all this, I really hope GGG adds back on completion orbs. They really are necessary to the current state of the Atlas, and it feels really silly having to create a new account just to target farm a particular map. The other alternative is they could completely change how drop restrictions work on maps, but I don't see them really doing that. Anyways, I hope this quick video has kind of cleared up a little bit about how to actually set up a particular target farm. This will work for any map in the game, you just need to choose two maps in two different regions and only complete those maps of that tier and one tier above. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try and answer whatever I can. I also try to stream on Twitch whenever the whole group is on and we're farming. Once again, I'm Snap and thanks for watching.